Tsunami Studios. And just when I say I'm done, they pull me back in and I'm doing another fan cast. I always say I'm not doing one, but here I am again doing one. I'm sorry if the audio sounds a little off today. I'm not in my usual studio, and by studio I mean I'm not in my usual basement where I record all my stuff. Top 10 actresses that should play Zatanna in the rumored Zatanna movie that is supposed to be coming to Disney... I said Disney. That's supposed to be coming to DC sometime, whenever that happens. Look, I'll believe the announcement when it's officially confirmed. I don't believe whatever Grace Randolph says that she has some inside scoop. We'll see what happens there, but let's talk about this. I think this is a really fun topic that I'm kind of excited to talk about because I'm a huge fan of Zatanna. I've loved this character for a long time. She's one of my favorite characters in the DC pantheon of characters. So finding the right person to cast as her I think was really hard and this was like the hardest casting I think I did in a long time, if ever. A couple things I want to get out of the way first. I did not put Amelia Clark on the list even though I think she'd be a good fit, mainly because I do think she might replace Amber Heard as Mera in um, Aquaman 2 or whatever's gonna happen there. I do think she might replace Amber Heard, so I didn't put her on this list. I went with a couple actresses kind of in the same age range, but also who don't have that many big properties at the moment that they're kind of working on. They got a few, but just a couple people that would work really well for the part. They are in no specific order. I think all the women are great for the job. And at the end, I'll tell you who I think would be my number one choice, given the opportunity. So here are the 10 actresses I think should, should play Zatanna in a movie. We're going to start number 10 with Hannah Simone. That's right. CC from New Girl. I've talked about New Girl a lot on this channel, and I think this girl's just got a certain look and a certain spunk that would work perfectly for this character. She's got a unique voice, a unique personality, a distinct look about her, and everything about it will work perfectly fine. She's an incredibly attractive actress that doesn't hurt either. I think she's a great fit. Something about it would just be different than what people would be expecting for Zatanna, and I think that could be something really cool and interesting that not a lot of people would see coming. So I just put her on my list because I think she's a great fit and would be very compelling and interesting to see. So Hannah Simone at my number 10. And at number 9, I have Olivia Wilde. And I put her on this list because, one, she's a tremendous actress and an incredible filmmaker. She's becoming a director, which I think is really cool to see. So maybe she could direct herself in this kind of movie. I think that'd be a really unique interesting thing we haven't really seen from her as a creator and that could be really cool she's definitely got the look she's definitely got the acting chops i would honestly say if i were to cast zatanna today my choice is olivia wilde she might be my number one choice but i don't know if she's going to be a lot of other people's choice she's just the creative presence and has that power and aura of an old school hollywood figure which i think could work really well for the zatanna character and i always just loved seeing her when whatever it is she's working on, whatever it is she's doing. So she's always just been my number one choice for Zatanna. But I just put her on my list in a random order. You guys could tell me what, if you think she's number one or if she's not, I'd love to hear what you guys think. She's just got a creative energy that might work well for this character. The kind of bubbly personality and the kind of fun essence about her that could be really cool. And number eight on my list is Elizabeth Gillies. And I put her on this list, not because of the meme that became victorious, but because I <laughs> am a fan of Victorious, I grew up watching that, so I know a lot about that, and she's got that kind of mean-spirited energy in that show that could easily translate to like the dark, mystical side of the DC Universe, and I think that could be really compelling stuff to see. She's again one of those actresses that hasn't had a lot going on, and this would be a great property just to show how she can do as an actress and as a creative type. I think that's a very compelling thing to see from her. I'd be very excited and very intrigued by her portrayal, I think more so than others. She's played a lot of those kind of just softer, mysterious tones, which could work really well for Zatanna, but she also has the presence and the stage presence of the character in that same regard too. So I think there's something really interesting that could happen there and something that could be really unique and just kind of tragic in a way you probably weren't expecting for Zatanna. And I think that could be really fun to see. That's why I have Elizabeth Gillies as my number eight. And at number seven, I have one that I was kind of hesitant about putting on. I went back and forth on two actresses here, but my number seven is Maya Hawk. I think she is an up and comer. She has proven herself to be not only a legacy actor's daughter and, and an actress's daughter which i think is something that kind of should happen for the character of zatanna 
just because Zatara is her father, right? And I think we could easily kind of do like the legacy idea of her character. And so if we got a legacy actress to play her, that could just be meta on two levels that not a lot of people would be thinking about. It would be something that only a couple people would think about, but Maya Hawk has kind of proven herself to be this up and coming actress. I'd love to see her get a big break like this. I think she'd be really good. I was thinking about putting Camila Mendez in that spot, but I'm like, Maya Hawk just might have that just that more gravitas to the performance than we could see from some other people. So I had to put her on this list just because I think she's a great new talent that we couldn't expect to see before and she could be really fun. And at number six, I have Tatiana Mislani. Yes, this one. This again, it's kind of there with Olivia Wilde, and I'm like, I'm amazed this hasn't happened yet. If you guys haven't seen Orphan Black, there's a stellar performance she gives in every episode and every scene she's in for each character she creates. There's something so unique and visceral about her performance I think could be very compelling for the DC universe. And her as Zatanna, she's got the dark energy around her, she's definitely got the bubbly lead that you could see. She's knocking it out of the park on Perry Mason at the moment. I think this is a fit and it would be perfect. And she's got kind of like the younger age demographic that could definitely lead into something that Zatanna could pull off. So I think that'd be really cool. I love Tatiana Mislani. I really, really, really want her to have a big budget role in one format of the word because I'm amazed she hasn't had that yet. I remember three years ago, I think I pitched that she should be Moon Knight, and I still stand by that. I think she'd be a great Moon Knight, but Zatanna would be even better for her, and she'd just fit really well into that kind of energy, and be really cool to see. And at number five, I have Zoe Deutsch. This is another one that's kind of proven herself to be this great actress, another legacy actress, so I can't wait to see how she kind of comes into her own. She's done a lot of interesting roles. She'd be a little bit more of like a fun and engaging type of Zatanna than the dark and mysterious one that I've kind of been talking about before. And I like both sides of that character and seeing where that could, that dynamic could really come into play here. She'd be great to hold her own as a lead. One of the things I was looking for when casting this character was, could she lead the dark universe side of the DC universe? Could they be the lead in a franchise picture like a Justice League Dark movie? That's something I was looking for for casting all these women. I think everybody on my list could definitely hold their own as the lead in this world. And somebody like Zoe Deutsch, she is a lot like um, Maya Hawk in that regard. She's an up and comer. She hasn't had that big role yet. This could be something really good to see how she does and interesting. She looks the part. She could definitely do the bubbly. She could definitely do the dark. And it'd be really compelling and interesting to see just what she does with that role. And at number four, I have Natalie Dormer. This is one I think I've been saying for years and ages, almost ever since I saw her in Game of Thrones. Just that cocky little smirk she gives in every performance she does. Something about that speaks so true to a magic-based character. She's got that energy. I know she's playing a witch on this newest season of Penny Dreadful. And that could translate right over to Zatanna. Just that energy, that vibe, that essence she brings to the screen. And I think now more than ever, she's be kind of becoming a more household name and a bigger name. And be perfect just to maybe launch her career up more she definitely pull off the look she could definitely pull off the attitude and the energy she could hold her own against some of those other magic characters that we could might see popping up and if you guys like this i might do an actual review of who would i cast for the justice league dark side of the dc universe i think that could be a really fun video too but natalie dormer i think more than a lot of my choices she seems like an odds end favorite and i think that about a lot of my topper choices here well, I'm a guy that's like, let's get Tatiana Maslany, let's get Olivia Wilde. I think if the creators of whatever this is going to turn out to be are going to look more at my top four choices as the ones that they're going to probably go around and cast. But Natalie Dormer, she could definitely pull it off and she's got that great look and that great presence that is needed for the character of Zatanna. And I think it'd be really compelling and great to see. And at number three is the one I think everyone has been talking about for ages to get in this role and it's Alexandra Daddario. I like her a lot. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of her work. I just never really watched anything with her where I've been compelled or invested in. She's a gorgeous woman. She could definitely pull it off and she definitely looks the part. I have not been sold on her acting chops except I think, in, was she in True Detective? I think that's what she was in. I don't know. If you want to cast just looking based off appearance, she is perfect. I think she could do really well and she looks great. And you just see, I think Boss Logic did a little vid, like a little 
painting where you just see her in like the the costume there and she looks great i think that'd be really cool to see like i said these are not in any particular order so don't get mad at me for having her at number three if you guys think she's the perfect fit i completely agree with you just in terms of what i've seen her from her acting uh she's not she hasn't sold me on playing this character yet but she could definitely pull it off i think she's got the look and I think that's a really important part for this character. And coming in at number two, I have Jamila Jamil. Yes, I know this one, it might be controversial, but she just put out a tweet where somebody fan cast her in the role and they thought she was kind of like uh, trying to get the role herself and she was trying to build it up so she would get it. But she was more like, no, I don't think I have the gravitas or the edge to do that role. But I think she does. I think if you wanted to do a unique portrayal of the character should be a great fit to do that there's something about her that you probably wouldn't expect for the character of Zatanna and I think that could be really compelling and really unique stuff to see I love her to death Jamila is one of my favorite people working in the industry today I think everything she does is important and impactful and she could definitely lead a franchise of the Justice League Dark launching her own movie in here I think it'd be great I'd love to see her in this role so she's my number two and coming in at number one I think is everyone's favorite choice for this character and this it's Ana de Armas like I think everybody wants her in another big role like this we've seen fan art of her as Poison Ivy and, and Zatanna she, everyone wants her in this role and I just put, I had to put her on this list because I agree completely though she's not my personal favorite choice to play Zatanna I think there's something really good there that not a lot of people would see coming because she's got the look she's got the the art style but I think she could definitely do the more sinister undertone of that character more than a lot of people might think and i'm not saying zatanna is the sinister character i'm just saying there's a there's a layer of death with her father and with the magic world that could definitely just go unskirmished by just the lesser actor and she could definitely pull off the much needed dark energy that surrounds this character and i think that'd be really compelling to see i love her as an actress i think knives out really launched her up to the next level and somebody's gonna scoop her up into one of these projects if not marvel if not netflix it might as well be dc so if i had to guess who is gonna get the job i think it would be her she could definitely lead the franchise and i just think it'd be really cool to see and that is my list guys i had a lot of fun doing this one i picked a lot of people that i'm a fan of and i like a lot and just talking about zatanna gets me excited for the possibility of a movie but like i said i'll believe it when we get a confirmation and a casting announcement so what did you guys think of my casting announcement or my casting choices that is and did you agree with them? Did you disagree with them? Do you think Olivia Wilde would be a good choice like I do? Or Tatiana Mislani like I do? I'd love to hear what you guys think. And thank you again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, you can check me out on Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.